Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anton, and I will lead today's webinar about new features of Smart PTT software implemented in release 8.4. I would like to start this webinar with the announcement about smartptt.com website. We have recently redesigned the website and made it more convenient and informative. It now contains new sections about Smart PTT industry-specific solutions and Smart PTT case studies telling about projects implemented by Motorola and Smart PTT partners all over the world. We have created special partner pages that give an overview of support that we are ready to offer to our partners and provide marketing and educational materials to help you work with Smart PTT better. The news section has been transformed into blog where you can select new news according to their categories. We hope our new website will prove useful for you and we will continue its development. You are welcome to share your opinion about it and tell us if there is something you like in our website and if you have some ideas about how we can make it better. For those who haven't heard about SmartPTT before, I will tell shortly what is it. SmartPTT is a dispatch solution for complex Motorola Mototurbo networks. It comes in two variants. Smart PTT Basic is a solution for small local radio networks where control station is used to dispatch the system. Smart PTT Enterprise allows dispatch and control over complex Motorola Mototurbo networks such as IP Site Connect, Capacity Plus, DIN Capacity Plus, and Connect Plus. Dispatcher software gives opportunity to control and log the flow of data and voice in radio network, request location of subscribers, and monitor the state of repeaters. Smart PTT connects to Moto Turbo networks directly via IP, including Capacity Plus and Lean Capacity Plus over NAI for both voice and data transmission. Capacity Plus networks can also be monitored and logged via IP connection without NAI, but in this case to have ability to send data into network and make calls, control stations are needed. Also, SmartPTT gives a set of software tools such as web client and file transfer software, which increase radio network usability and functionality. SmartPTT has functionality that allows it to connect to PBX and give subscribers the ability to use PBX interconnection from radio network as well. New features include the following listed on the slide. Uh, in the next slides, I will go through them one by one, revealing features a bit more. So, the first one is Select 5 support. Smart PTT now supports a signaling of Select 5 all call and emergency call, in addition to all previously supported features of this analog signaling. This extends the functionality of Select 5 system in, when working with the Smart PTT software. It's now possible to see the ID of originator during the call also for select five systems. We have implemented support for external equipment, which allows dispatcher to use rigid microphones produced by Imtrodex. We had also prepared the ground for support of virtually any external equipment. Hotkeys functionality is supported for external buttons of Imtrodex equipment. You can use external buttons as PTT, repeat latest call, answer last incoming call, or for specific groups and subscribers. Smart PTT Enterprise now supports a specific mode of connection to NAI systems, called mixed mode. When implementation of NAI voice for the system is impossible, you can establish a data connection via NAI data with existing system and use control stations to allow voice communication without use of NAI voice. This option is similar to previously used Capacity Plus via control stations, where control station is used to communicate with subscribers within Capacity Plus network. Security options just got better. It is now possible to implement loan worker and man down features into rules and alert system of Smart PTT. Lone worker profiles can be enabled or disabled based on events in the network. For example, system can enable the lone worker rule for subscriber upon entering specified geofencing zone 
and disable upon leaving. The same applies for man down functionality. There are two new elements of custom consoles related to telemetry service. First one is control element that allows sending telemetry commands and shows the status of remote output pin. Second one is status element which requests and shows the status of remote input telemetry pin on specified radio. Statuses are customizable and color coded so dispatcher can see the state of telemetry pins at a glance. Now you can use the radio server as an automatic intendant, accepting external phone calls, notifying user how to call individual subscribers or groups. This feature is designed mainly for the system which cannot support the external PBX. So they have only one phone line. Phone user uh, after connection to the radio server, we'll have an ability to dial the number of subscriber via DTMF and press a pound to call any subscriber or group present on radio server. We had implemented a new way of raster map storage, which allows us to split a raster map into a set of smaller tiles. This process eliminates the, res the resolution limitation for raster maps. As a result, Detail level can be increased in comparison to previously used raster maps. The memory usage is lower when working with them. Monitoring interface can give more information now. You can select a set of systems to be shown on dynamic timeline simultaneously. With ability to monitor multiple systems, dispatcher has a greater overview of system at glance. Another additional option in monitoring interface is ability to show connected radio servers in topology view with horizontal layout instead of vertical. This can suit more for widescreen monitors when a lot of radio servers are connected simultaneously. It is now possible to specify a set of radio IDs which will be available for a specific profile in radio server. You can configure a set of radios to be controlled by specific dispatcher. Dispatcher will be limited to these subscribers only and will have no ability to do anything with subscribers not included in his pool. Notifications for dispatcher are also remastered. Dispatcher software can sound special audible alarm when emergency takes place in radio network or based on any additional events, lost connection to repeater or radio server or anything else. Also, when emergency happens, map window will center on originator of emergency and will hide other subscriber labels from map, except for specified category of subscribers. Restricted access to system is now fully supported by Smart PCT system. Now you can have a set of repeaters in your network with RIAS option enabled and the Smart PCT will handle those repeaters correctly. Web Client now provides ability to set a name for subscriber directly from Web Client interface. This name will be shown in a list of online subscribers and will pop up when mouse is over the mark corresponding to this subscriber. And the last feature is extended simulcast support. We have added the ability to work with radioactivity repeaters in analog mode. Radio server can now connect to multiple audio gateways in same subnet. Also uh, added the possibility to bridge analog radio subscribers with digital radio subscribers in simulcast networks. This applies for radioactivity simulcast equipment. Also call alert functionality is now supported in simulcast networks. Visit our website smartptt.com to find out more information about SmartPTT software. Follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, user SmartPTT. If you have any questions, feel free to send email to us on info at smartptt.com or ask it on support portal. Thank you for your attention.